Good morning, Wolfpack. I'm Raphael Gonzalez. And I'm Ari Wagner. Today is Wednesday, January 19th. Make sure you're paying attention because we have a bunch of important announcements. The Hype Dance Company Showcase is this Friday. Their first show will take place at 7 p.m. and the final show on Saturday at 7 p.m. Their showcase will take place in the PAC. You can buy your tickets pre-sale for $5 from Ms. Peterson, the student store, or any Hype Dance member. Ticket prices will raise to $7 at the door, so try and buy them quickly. Be sure to come out and see this amazing showcase. The Career Center will be hosting a community college application workshop on February 27th. Spots are filling up fast, so make sure you sign up as soon as possible. See Mrs. Warren today. Juniors and seniors, if you're interested in joining a branch of the U.S. military, you should sign up for the ASVAB. See Ms. Warren in the Career Center if you have any questions or to sign up for the January 25th test. Winter homecoming dance tickets are still on sale in the student store. Tickets are $10 with ASB and $15 without. This will take place next Saturday, January 28th, from 7.30 to 10.30 in the main gym. Make sure you come out in some white because this dance will be all black light. Tomorrow is our black light winter homecoming rally, so make sure you come to see the winter royalty, special black light performances, and some amazing games. Ben and Ari, tell us what's going on in the world of high school sports. Good morning, Wolfpack. I'm Ariana Reland. And I'm Ben Marajat. Let's get the ball rolling with an update from the world of wrestling. Last night, Kasumna Soaks wrestled against rival high school Union Mine. Despite having been shut out by the Diamondbacks last year, CO scraped by with the win 40-33. If Kasumna Soaks beats Liberty Ranch and Vista Del Lago in their upcoming home matches, we will win league. Good luck wrestling and make sure to stay tuned in for more information. Their next match is Wednesday against Liberty Ranch. Yesterday, the JV and varsity women's basketball team faced off against Galt in a home game. Both teams played amazing games, resulting in a win for both teams. Varsity beat Galt with a score of 56-44. Leading the team by scoring double figures was Alyssa Bray with 15 points, Summer Malloy with 12 points, and Don Ye Fei with 10 points. Make sure you come out to support them tomorrow as they play against Liberty Ranch in the Wolf Den. And in a league matchup for our men's basketball squad, the Wolfpack destroyed the Galt Warriors Tuesday night with a final score of 84-34. With the win, CO moves up to second in league, just a game behind Vista Del Lago. Make sure to be in attendance this Friday night at Liberty Ranch to see the Wolfpack take on the Hawks. For those of you who want to participate in spring sports, today is the last day to get cleared by Mr. Wynn. It's from 4 to 7 p.m. in the multi-purpose room and you must have your packet completed. It's free, so don't worry about bringing any money. A reminder of the spring sports are women's soccer, track and field, tennis, boys volleyball, baseball, softball, men's golf, and swimming. See you there. Now it's time for Athlete of the Week. <laughs> This week's Female Athlete of the Week is Kanisha McDowell. Kanisha is a senior on the Lady Wolfpack basketball team. Last week, she led the team in scoring in their tough loss against Vista. Along with scoring double figures of 16 points, she also had 20 rebounds and 6 steals. Good job, Kanisha McDowell. And this week's Male Athlete of the Week goes out to number 3 of the varsity basketball team, Richard Reed. Despite being just a sophomore, he has been playing extremely well on both sides of the ball. Head coach Patrick Roth said, quote, he is one of our most improved players this season. Congratulations, Richard, and make sure to tune in next Thursday to see who wins. Well, that's going to do it for us here at Wolfpack Sports. I'm Ariana Reland. And I'm Ben Marjat. See you on Monday.
you like tamales? If so, find a senior and place an order. Tamales are selling for only $20 per dozen. To all seniors who haven't purchased their sober grad night ticket, if you sell 12 dozen, you will receive a 50% discount off your ticket price. And if you've already purchased yours, then you'll receive a 50% refund. Turn in your order forms and money to Mr. Murdoch. You can pick up your orders on February 2nd from 3 p.m. to 8 p.m. in either the MP room or the culinary building. To all the students who submitted art for the art show, you can now retrieve your artwork anytime this week from your teacher. There will be a parent and student informational meeting next Tuesday, January 24th at 6 p.m. in room HG5 for the Junior Achievement Club. Please see Ms. VC if you need more information. Kaplan Teps Prep will hold a mock combination ACT and SAT at COHS on Saturday, February 25th. The cost is $10. You may register and pay in the student store at lunch or at the controller's window before or after school. There will be an AP and Honors Night on January 25th for those interested in a AP or Honors courses. Be sure to attend if you're interested in taking AP or Honor classes. If you are interested in being a part of Wolfpack TV next year, come by Mr. Young's room, HF11, to pick up an application. Well, that's all we have for you today. I'm Ari Wagner. And I'm Raphael Gonzalez. Remember, the strength of the wolf is the pack. And the strength of the pack is the wolf. See you on Friday, Wolfpack.